Good morning, I'm Frank Connors. It was my pleasure to work at People Plus for 17 years and be what I hoped was a useful member of the staff. One of the projects that we did was prepare, prepare a book called Speaking Frankly. It's a collection of essays that I wrote for the People Plus News over the years. I'd like to read you one to you now. It's called uh, Riding in Wheelbarrows. Imagine my glee as I put my slightly skeptical three-year-old grandson in my brand new shining red wooden wheelbarrow and asked him where he wanted to go. Bless his little heart, he really did look at me and very seriously announced his first choice was going to be Bodenham. That's 12 miles away, mind you, give or take a few feet. I looked right back at him, slightly shocked, and asked if down the driveway would do. He nodded yes, and we took off. I suspected until that moment, Jaden didn't even know what a wheelbarrow was. I'm sure he'd never been in one, at least not on my side of the Piscataquis River. I ran and I ran faster. I couldn't see his face because he faced forward, but the squeals that came from that boy told me he was loving it, even if his knuckles were white. I ran like I still had two good shoulders and two good knees. I ran till I was winded. That took me about 100 yards or 40 odd seconds. Where our driveway enters the woods, I slowed to a more leisurely pace and tried to catch my breath. It was a cool early spring evening, trees just budding, birds singing, the wheel making that unique, wonderful grind as it rolls over the gravel. Jaden looked up at me, grinned, and kicked the front of the board to go, asking me to go faster again. I told him he might end up hauling me. I don't want you to consider me a hopeless romantic, but that was one of those moments when this old Vietnam vet was happy that he made it through the war. Consider the humble wheelbarrow for just a moment. It's a simple wooden box and a frame attached to one wheel. I'm no engineer, but I bet that the wheelbarrow is one of the oldest forms of transportation that remains virtually unchanged as we progress ever deep, deeper into our crazy high-tech world. I used to haul our kids in, in the Bodenham parades in a wheelbarrow until they got so old that they wanted to do, to do the route on their big wheels or their bicycles. We used to sneak into the parade line right behind the honor guard from the Navy base, and the guys usually got quite a kick out of us. And my grandfather used to haul me in his creaky old wheelbarrow. We'd go to the store, go around the block or across the field. There was a hill in town that we called Back Hill, which plunged toward the, the Cadence River at a pretty alarming angle. He never sh shied away from that hill, but he never ran it, down it either. He used to call whoa there, whoa on the down trip like he was driving a hoss. What impressed me more, thinking back over 60 odd years, is that he climbed that hill with me on board. And more often than not, we'd be sharing the wheelbarrow with some animal feed or a grain bag or some firewood. Hank Welzo, an 80 plus year old member of People Plus, made this wheelbarrow from scratch. He had an old wheel in his barn one that he had said was older than him. He made the frame and the handles of, of oak. He crafted the steel pots on some sort of an anvil, and he built the body of pine. It stands rigid. It's built stout. When I suggested the red color was just a bit flashy for, work, for a working wheelbarrow, he said he picked it to match my pickup. Last fall, as Jane and I were packing to leave Bodenham, she caught me placing the remains of an old, sub-sized sub -sized wheelbarrow on my truck. One handle was busted, its sides were missing. It was a sorry representation of what I once had been. I had found it in a dark loft of our barn when we bought the place in 1975. What is that? she asked. A wheelbarrow, I offered weakly, knowing I'd been that is not going to Brunswick, she decreed. 
Well, said I, gasping for splinters, I know this guy who can fix it. I wasn't going to take it to your dad's. It won't end up in, the, in his garage. Jane rolled her eyes, muttered something under her breath as she walked away. So I did take that old frame to Hank, and he made that pint-sized wheelbarrow look better than new. I believe Jaden's and my enthusiasm for that little wheelbarrow motivated Hank to build bigger beauty. So we're now a two-wheelbarrow family, and I'm thinking that even Jane likes that. Thanks for listening.